This is a 360 degree video. To look around, simply click and drag on your desktop or laptop, or swipe left or right on your mobile device. Have fun! Welcome to a Canadian mushroom farm. The process of growing Canadian mushrooms to eat is very much part science, part art. In this video, you'll learn all there is to know about mushrooms, specifically agaricus mushrooms, where and how they grow, how they're harvested, innovation in the Canadian mushroom industry, and much more. Ready? Here we go. Mushroom production is one of the most environmentally sustainable farming practices because the material used to grow mushrooms is almost all recycled and is recycled again after mushrooms are harvested from it. Mushrooms are grown not in manure, as some might think, but in a pasteurized material called substrate. Substrate is made from agricultural waste products like corn cobs, seed hulls, mulch hay, straw bedded horse manure, and poultry manure. These products are mixed with water and supplements, then left to compost on a concrete slab called a wharf. The substrate is turned with a special machine to ensure adequate oxygen levels to maintain the composting process. The substrate is pasteurized via the composting process, which produces heat. After pasteurization, the substrate is mixed with mushroom spawn, the seed stock from which mushrooms grow. Spawn is made by inoculating a piece of sterile grain with mushroom spores. This process happens in a sterile lab, and mushroom farmers then buy the spawn from the lab. Here, you can see a transport truck unloading what looks like rich, dark dirt. If you've ever noticed small flecks of dirt-like material on your mushrooms, that's the peat moss or casing that the mushrooms are grown in. Now, let's see how the substrate gets into the growing beds. Traditionally, mushrooms have been grown in long, dark barns using beds made mostly of wood. Many mushroom farmers still grow their mushrooms this way, as it provides a good environment for mushrooms to grow. However, research and innovation within the mushroom industry in North America and Europe has resulted in the development of aluminum growing beds, like the ones you can see here. These beds are empty and waiting to be filled with substrate. As you can see, the growing beds are in a long, bright room. Ventilation, lighting, and temperature are all controlled by state-of-the-art technology and computer systems, allowing the mushrooms to grow in an optimal environment. To fill the beds with substrate, several conveyor belts are needed. Landscape material is placed on the bottom of each bed, rolling into the bed at the same time as the substrate is pushed in. You can see one of the beds being filled here. The substrate, which is very moist, is then covered with peat moss, also called the casing, to maintain its moisture level so the mushrooms have lots of water to grow without actually having to be watered every day. It takes about three hours to fill one growing room like this with substrate and to make sure it's completely ready for mushrooms to grow. Mushrooms grow very quickly. In fact, they double in size every 24 hours. The first crop of mushrooms will be ready to harvest from this growing room in about two weeks. Mushrooms can be harvested from the same substrate two or three times before the substrate is exhausted and removed from the beds. Removal takes about a day, with the exhausted substrate used as potting soil or sent to other farms as valuable soil conditioner. Now that we know all about what mushrooms are grown in, let's focus on the mushrooms themselves. Mushrooms are a fungus that you can eat. There are thousands of fungi in the world, but only a few of them are safe to ingest. That's why it's important to be very careful of eating wild mushrooms as they could be poisonous. The seven popular varieties grown on commercial farms in Canada are of course safe to eat. The most popular mushroom variety in Canada is the white button mushroom, followed closely by the cremini or brown mushroom and the portobello mushroom. This particular facility grows all three of these mushroom varieties. Mushrooms are grown year round in Canada. They're harvested every day of the year and delivered fresh to local grocery stores. 
here we are right inside a mushroom growing bed. As you can see, there are lots of mushrooms growing, and they're all different sizes too. Mushrooms are mostly harvested by hand by employees of the mushroom farm. Each employee is trained to carefully pick mushrooms based on their size. Their training also includes how to handle mushrooms to avoid bruising or damaging them. Here, you can see a mushroom farm employee harvesting mushrooms. Since the growing beds are so tall, each employee has a mobile stand that moves up and down the bed at a very slow pace, allowing the employee to spot and then pick the mushroom ready for harvest. The mushrooms that are not picked are left to continue growing until they're their correct size for harvest. Harvested mushrooms are put into a large crate before being stacked onto a skid for packaging. While some mushroom farms ship their mushrooms to another location to be packaged, at this facility, there is a packaging and shipping area on site. That's where we are now. Mushrooms are placed into a plastic recyclable container by hand. The number of mushrooms per package is determined by weight. When the package is filled to the correct weight, it rides a conveyor through a machine that wraps it in plastic and puts a label on it. The closed package of mushrooms is then packed into a larger box and put onto a skid and stored in a refrigerated room until the shipping truck arrives. Upon arrival, the truck driver loads each skid of mushrooms onto the refrigerated truck, delivering the fresh mushrooms to local grocery stores the same day or the day after they're harvested. This means that you're always getting the freshest mushrooms available. Thanks for visiting this Canadian mushroom farm. To learn more about Canadian mushrooms, feel free to click on the other videos in this section.